Hi, welcome to the new Spring Boot Security Series. This tutorial is based on the new Spring Boot 3.0.0 version. Today, we are launching a new Spring Boot Security Series. This series is based on the Spring Boot 3.0.0 release. In this intro, we will create a new Spring Boot project in Eclipse. This new project has the following dependencies. Spring Web and Spring Security. Let's look at Eclipse. In this intro, we build a security project without any configuration. This is Spring Security out of the box. The only thing we have prepared is a new package, controller with a class home controller. This class has one method. Home, the home method is welcome home as response. With this simple setup we can start the project for the first time. In the console you can see that Spring Boot has created a user with a random password. Keep in mind the following message in the console. This generated password is for development use only. Your security configuration must be updated before running your application in production. Later, in our browser, we can see what Spring Boot has automatically created for us without any configuration. In your favorite browser, we can look at the endpoint of our project. Open the page localhost port 8080. As you can see we get to see a login page from Spring Boot. Here we can enter the data that Spring Boot has automatically created for us. The user is, user and the password can be found in the console of Eclipse. Keep in mind that this password changes every time you restart the project. The password is a random string. After login, you will see the expected text welcome home. So, this is the end of this Spring Boot Security intro. In the coming days, we will continue our journey with Spring Security. We will continue to configure our project with its own user. Thank you for following this series. Thank you. Like. Comment. Share. And subscribe.